Hey, what's up, y'all? Obviously, the office is hopping today, so there's going to be a little bit of noise. If you hear it, eh, if you don't hear it, then forget I even said that. All right, this is a women's blazer. You've seen the orange box a lot of times because I've done a lot of blazers on the station. But this is the first time I've done a women's blazer. Um, it's the women's Nike Blazer Mid 77. Uh, why it's a little bit different than the vintage? I don't know why it's called the women's Mid Blazer 77 and not the vintage, like... The men's versions but there's two different ones so maybe i'm getting a little bit confused but the color here is white lemon venom Let's try to say that five times fast lemon venom white lemon venom uh the style code is cz0362100 the srp is only a hundred dollars not getting into the upc and all of that just a really quick video so you can get a look at the lemon venom and i may not even do a close-up uh, let's see if there is a stamp. And there is a stamp. 1301-2020. So 1301-2020. Always difficult to see the size label in this shoe. So I almost don't want to give you the dates of production on this tag because it's so difficult to see on the inside of the shoe because they're always laced up really tight. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to break my neck and do that. I'll just stick with that stamp. I'm not doing the dates of production because I don't feel like pulling the shoe apart. It's already sold and it's going to someone. But it's a really pretty classic basketball shoe from Nike. And in the last year, the Blazer has become one of the best-selling shoes that Nike has in its 100 and like under price range. So um, I'm glad that that happened because it's a really dope shoe. It's just classic, you know, as far as the look of it. And um, it gives you an idea of how well Nike understands its consumer because I'm trying to remember if blazers they didn't really release a lot of blazers in the past so as far as a retro kind of feel this is really the first year where you got a ton of different blazers dropping but more important they're also releasing a bunch of pro leather converse so same era as the blazer but the pro leather converse. But what do I like about this shoe? Obviously, I love the suede toe. And then the side of the shoe, the mud guard. Uh, not even, well, I guess we can call it a mud guard, but that's really more for tennis. Um, this is more like a scuff guard. And that's important. Why? Because basketball players, you know, people can step on your toe and stub your toe. And this is kind of a reinforced look. No one's going to hoop in these shoes. No one's hooping in the blazers. These are strictly for fashion now. But when they were first made, they were pretty high tech as far as basketball is concerned. My voice just crack? Go figure. Um, but that's it. Like I said, it's just a quick video to show you this blazer in lemon venom. Just so you can see it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a close-up and then I'm wrapping this Look up. Look at the back of the shoe. Close up. Inside. Make sure I give you that medial shot. Drop that back down. Turn that and give you the toe. And you can see that suede mud guard right there. And I think I'm going to end it on that oblique shot because I just think it's a fresh shoe, man. You can really do some things with it. It's very, as far as I'm concerned, kind of comparable to the, comparable to the Air Jordan 1, although it's not as popular, obviously. But I think with the right kind of color blocking on this shoe, they could really do some things. Like they did with the, what is it, the Sakai? I hope I said that right. That blazer. That thing is selling like crazy still in resale. But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.